Meaning, the spirits that are going to die in the wilderness do not know how to follow. They do not know how to follow. Now, I'm not talking about the physical following. I'm following kind of following. I'm talking about the eye that is able to behold the new scene in every dispensation when an old womb is closed. So, Numbers 14 gets us at the point when Moses is interceding for them. And his God has uh, declared his long suffering and frustration over the children of Israel. And he knows that these are not the people that are necessary for the promise. So Moses intercedes for them. But God comes to Moses and tells him in verses 22 all those men which have seen my glory and my miracles, which I did in Egypt and in the wilderness, have tempted me ten times. They've not hearkened to my voice. Verse 23 says, They shall not see the land which I swear unto their fathers. Neither shall any of them that provoked me see it. That means it was seen by their children. Not them. But, he says, my servant Caleb, because he has another spirit within him and has followed me fully, I'll bring him into the land where into he went and his seed shall possess it. Now, the Hebrew word therefore, another spirit, is the word called akel, which means not just another spirit, because that's, that's what Caleb and, and Joshua had. In fact, later in some scripture, he speaks of Caleb and Joshua. They shall inherit of the land because in them is another spirit. You get it for me somewhere. Now, the word another spirit, a care, comes from a root word called following. Now, when the Bible says that they have another spirit, why did I choose Numbers 14? Because he emphasizes he has followed me fully. So that another spirit was a following spirit. And it says Joshua and Caleb have another spirit within them. And it is a following spirit. Meaning the spirits that are going to die in the wilderness do not know how to follow. They do not know how to follow. Mm. Now, I'm not talking about the physical following. I'm following you on Facebook. I'm following you on Instagram. I'm following you on Twitter. I'm talking about that kind of following. I'm talking about the eye that is able to behold the new scene in every dispensation when an old womb is closing. I don't know who I'm talking to. I'm talking about people who are able to see in the spirit the new thing that is available 
For their generation In the time When certain seasons are closing Some people were relevant in 1992 But when the window of the 90s closed Their ministries closed with the window of the 90s they did not know how to follow the grace that had come after the 90s. Those that knew how to catch it have caught it and gone to the next level. But there are people who are still stuck in an old glory on expired anointings whose glory cannot provide for them Musumba, whose glory cannot provide for them in the age that they are in. And they think that it's an age issue. It's not an age issue. Sometimes you can get so satisfied that you can lose the eye to follow. The people have started with to preach. They saw the lame walk. They saw the dead They saw the healed. Under my anointing. They were slain under this oil. They were healed under this hand. They prospered under this hand. Their families were delivered under this hand. But not all of them understood what God was doing. But some understood. We're not looking for food. We're not looking for food. We're looking for God. Eh. Somebody shout hallelujah. Let me put it on a bigger scale. It is easy to stop following what God is up to because you have money. It is easy to stop following what God is up to because you got a husband. It is easy to stop following what God is up to because you got a wife. It is easy to stop following what God is up to because you got a scholarship and went to the United States. It is easy to stop following what God is up to because you got a contract. But I'm talking of people who got contracts and they stayed hungry. They got married and they stayed hungry. They got children and they stayed hungry. Are you hearing me? If you knew me 10 years, I was hungry 10 years ago. If you knew me 7 years, I was hungry 7 years ago. If you knew me 6 years, I was hungry 6 years ago. If you knew me 3 years, I was hungry 3 years ago. I was deep 10 years ago. I was deep 7 years ago. I was deep 15 years ago. 2021, 20, I'm still giving Rema. I'm following. I said I have a following spirit. I am getting a hold of the promise of God. I still feel there is more. Something inside there keeps telling me Sinaba, I'm going somewhere. I'm not yet satisfied with the place where I'm at. And I'm leaning in. I still read the Bible. I still fast. I still pray. I still sow seed. I still humble myself. And anointings that elevate me. Why? I'm a follower. If you cannot be a follower, you cannot design voices. And God can only use anointings that have learned to follow. God elevates submitted graces. 
Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody say I'm a follower. Yagala Yesu ngabota mwagalanga. Love Jesus, they've never loved him. If you feel satisfied, may God be greater than the one you had before you knew him. In every generation, we shall be hungry for what is available. The heathen words are not Because they have not have not have not have not have not God is looking for a man who can stay hungry. God is looking for people who when they see him that very day they will go in the room and say God I've seen you but I feel there is more there is I've never missed a service. I've been standing on this altar for years because I still follow after. The word of God is still sweet. And if you have observed my life for years, you'll discover that I grow every day because I'm a follower. I'm a follower. Tell somebody I'm a follower. Some of you, if you had not made this message, that is a, you would have been buried many years ago. Because the world had held you. It's only the grace of God that you are still alive. Somebody shout hallelujah. How can somebody get satisfied early? God is bigger than I ever thought. I your appetite cannot be small. Your appetite should be big. Dream of taking over nations. Dream of shaking continents. Dream of shaking Luero. Kasana. All through. Let the world hear from you. From Uganda. I told boys long ago that the world will hear me from Uganda. We are on TBN Africa. We are on God TV Europe. We are on Faith World. Faith TV. Calvary India. The world is hearing us. And we are still hungry. Married men and women got their cars from Kampala. Not because they didn't have something to do. But they just found themselves, the themselves driving to the world. They, they, they don't know what time they are going to arrive. But there is something inside them every day telling them. That not that I have attained. But I seek that I may apprehend. That which Christ apprehended me for. Those are the men God wants to use. How can you be satisfied, Ali? What have you done? Let me tell you. Even if I was to go to heaven now, which can't happen. <laughs> I have already entered the history of this nation. I have already entered the history of generals in this nation. Yet I've not yet started. What have you done to be satisfied? What have you done that satisfies you? Tell 
tell your neighbor become hungry or else you will die because if you don't keep following then you are enslaved you just don't know it one tell your neighbor separate the permissible from the beneficial separate the precious from the vile I can lose anything but not God I can lose anybody but not God God Take whatever you can. But leave me with that place that can still hear the voice of God. I will rise again. I will rise again. Because he says, with you is the path of life. You will show me the path of life. He's the revelation of that path. He says, in thy presence is joy. And at thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. There is a joy man cannot give. But only God can satisfy. There is joy that God can give. And no man there is a joy only God can give. Nothing in this world can satisfy. C.S. Lewis said, C.S. Lewis said, C.S. Lewis said, C.S. Lewis Yagama. He said there is an equal measure to satisfy every appetite. If you are hungry, there is food. If you're thirsty, there is water. But he says, but if you find yourself with a hunger, nothing in this world can satisfy then understand that you are called for a purpose outside this world. Who am I talking about? Men died for this gospel. Men lost their wives and husbands killed in the gospel. They lost their children in the gospel. I even wonder how those men look at us. What can you sacrifice for God? What are you able to give God? He just needs your heart. He just needs your heart. Who's understand what I'm saying? Now I'm prophesying. Listen. We're in a great time. Great time. Great time. Great time. Very great time. Because God is pouring out another level of grace. Something new is falling in this season. Post COVID. Post COVID. There is an anointing falling. Post COVID. You better be relevant. Refuse to be held back. Walk out of the sin that so easily besets you. Remove the burden that weight which holds you back. And the Bible says with patience run the rest that is set before you. Let me tell you 
Recently, I was looking at videos, pictures of people in Barara, Masaka, Ishaka, Ishaka. Mbale. This God is doing something in this nation. And from this nation, we're going to shake the world together. I'm not going to leave you behind. <laughs> we're going together. We're going to change the world. We're going to shake the, 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 the continents together. We're going to walk nation to nation. District upon district. Community upon community. Language upon language together. They will write about us one day. Hey,